Is it true that there is more book uh, to the Bible? If so, why have they taken them out? Well, yes, there are more books, and uh, these books are only accepted by the apostolic churches. When I say apostolic, I mean Catholic and Orthodox, Orthodox both Eastern and Oriental, and the Church of the East as well. Um, so the Bible that uh, I have in my church is, is consists of um, uh, 73 books instead of 66. 73 books. Um, we've, uh, we have our youth ministry uh, gathering once a fortnight on Wednesdays. Uh, it was just Wednesday, just past, two days ago. Uh, and the next meeting is a fortnight from that Wednesday that just passed. Uh, we've given Holy Bibles to the people that attend our youth ministry. Those Bibles are made out of 73 books, not 66. So you have first and second Maccabians, we have Tobit 1 and 2, and, uh, and other books. You don't find in the common Bible that you have, reason being, the common Bible that you have readily available, it is a Protestant print, my beloveds. And a Protestant print derives from what they call the Septuagint translation, the 70th elders that was translated in two, around 250 BC by the Roman emperor uh, in the name of Tola, Ptolemy. Ptolemy, um, he was the emperor ruling and he happened to rule over Egypt as well. He established a library that had every single book that existed on the face of this planet. He built the library, it took him years, but he gathered every single book that was established and published at his time. The Jewish people that were living in Alexandria at the time went to the emperor and they said, your library, by the way, emperor, is missing one book. And this book is found with one nation and this nation will never give you this book. He said, which book is that? They said, the Torah. The Old Testament book. The Old Testament book. It is the Jewish, the Israelite people book. And they won't give it to you because it's sacred. He said, well, let me see. So he went, since he was ruling, he gathered 70 elders from the Israelite nation, extremely well informed and embedded in the scriptures of the Old Testament, and very well educated in both the Hebrew and the Greek, all Greek language very well informed in both language Hebrew and Greek so he grabbed those 70 elders and he placed each one in a different location where no one could have communicated with the other so 70 elders one in this city the other one in the other city and then he got let's say chapter 1 of Genesis he made out of that chapter 1 of Genesis 70 copies and he gave those copies to the 70 elders and he said to them, I want you to translate this chapter one for me from Hebrew to Greek. It was the first time ever for the Old Testament, which is written in Hebrew. That's the original text of the Old Testament, Hebrew language. It was the first time ever that the Hebrew text being translated into Greek around 250 BC by Ptolemy, the emperor of the Roman empire and he said to them chapter one you translate from hebrew to greek and then i'll collect all the 70 translations and i'll match them if i see there are big differences i'll chop everyone's head and i'll bring another 70 elders until it is translated they got scared they translated the old testament into greek however traditions say that they hid deliberately seven books because they didn't want to give the entire book to a pagan emperor as a defilement as far as the jewish people are concerned you are defiling our sacred book so they said traditions say that they hid seven books deliberately so that way we gave you the book but not the entirety of it so the current bibles are translated from the septuagint 70 the 70th translation i.e translated by the 70 elders the 70th translation had 66 books only but those other books came into the holy bible um, through the 
councils that were held uh, throughout the centuries and then authenticated by the Apostolic Churches, Catholic Orthodox Churches later on and became 73 books. So, yes, that's one. All right, one more. One more, please. Are you tired? You sure? Are you cold? Must be me. 